Full Depth Reclamation, or FDR, is an asphalt recycling process where the full flexible pavement section and a portion of the underlying materials are uniformly pulverized in place, then stabilized with Portland cement. The result is a cement stabilized base course, using all existing materials to create a much stronger, stiffer, and more durable section for the new pavement or surface layer. FDR is a cost-effective, fast, and more environmentally friendly alternative to total reconstruction. FDR is how Mount Carmel Stabilization Group began in 1949, and today we do over 100 miles per year. This roadway is exhibiting common base failure, with alligator cracking, full depth patches, edge failures, etc. The city of Louisville, Kentucky elected to use full depth reclamation to rebuild this road because it was superior to patching and far more cost effective than total reconstruction. This roadway is a great example of FDR because no materials left the roadway during construction. The first step in the FDR process is to pulverize the existing asphalt, base, and a portion of the subgrade in place to create a homogeneous material. On this project, the treatment depth was 8 inches. Depending on the project, treatment depths from 6 inches to 16 inches are common. During this phase, the mixer is pulverizing the full depth of treatment. The gradation of the pulverized material is important during this phase. Typical specifications are 100% less than 2 inches. It is during the pulverization phase that any widening and reshaping takes place. This is important to have completed prior to the beginning of stabilization. Widening is easily accomplished during pulverization if the existing roadway platform includes a shoulder on either or both sides of the road. After pulverizing, the material is graded and sealed prior to stabilization. Phase 2. Stabilization with cement begins. The first step in stabilization is the application of cement on the grade. Cement is spread at the prescribed application rate, taking into account the new composite soil weight. On this project, the cement application rate was 6%, which is a common and effective application rate for FDR with cement. The cement is mixed with a composite base to the full depth of treatment, with water being added through the mixing drum to hydrate the cement and bring the mixture to optimum moisture content. Immediately behind the mixing process, the process continues with compaction and initial grading. Compaction is accomplished with a vibratory pad foot roller, followed by finished grading and sealing with a steel wheel roller to provide the finished stabilized base surface. At this point, the roadway is completely open to light vehicular traffic. Heavy loads should remain off the road for five to seven days to allow the cement stabilized layer to cure. It is also common to shoot a bituminous tack coat on the roadway to seal the surface prior to paving.
You are viewing the finished product with a two inch asphalt pavement directly over the cement stabilized FDR layer. The city of Louisville chose to leave a one foot stabilized shoulder for edge control for the new pavement. The entire FDR process on this one mile roadway took only two days. Add one day of paving and to reconstruct this road with FDR took a total of only three days. Utilizing all existing materials, FDR is the most economical process available for recycling failing pavements today.